Hi, this is Lassie. Hope you're well. In this video, I want to talk to you about a serious disagreement that I have with many chart analysts out there, especially when it comes to Bitcoin. But also, this could be with other markets too. But it's about the recent crash we've had in the price of Bitcoin and the fact that many chart analysts, even those that I respect, are now saying this is without a doubt, this is a Bitcoin bear market. And I want to talk to you a little bit about this. So join me. All right, guys, welcome back. Before I start, I just want to, first of all, again, thank you so much indeed for getting us to a 300,000 subscribers. We just recently went over the 300,000 subscriber uh, mark. So again, guys, thank you so much indeed for watching my videos and supporting this channel. Your loyal viewership means a lot to me. And thank you very much also to those of you who regularly click like and also comment on my videos as well. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, let's begin. So as I'm sure you probably noticed, the recent crash and volatility we've seen in the price of Bitcoin has caused a lot of people to write articles, very sensational articles, and also videos as well, that, yep, definitely we're now in a Bitcoin bear market. I've seen similar videos about Ethereum as well. There are some who are saying Ethereum is also in a bear market. And I want to talk to you a little about this. Now, I mentioned some of this stuff in a previous video as well. However, I think it's worth just going over this one more time and making my views a bit more clear. Because you see, what's happened is after Bitcoin dropped by about 50% from its highs to its lows, a lot of articles have been written and a lot of videos been made that Bitcoin is now, without a doubt, in a bear market. And by the way, some of these people who are making these articles and videos are people that I respect. I don't think they're bad people. I think they mean well. I just disagree with them on this point from a technical perspective. So I think the reason why many chart analysts are saying that Bitcoin has gone into a bear market, which I disagree with, it's because of the fact they're basing their definition of a bear market on something completely arbitrary, which is that anytime price drops by about 20% or more, they consider that to be the definition of a bear market. Now, I got to tell you guys, some years ago, I used to also accept this definition of a bear market. This changed though with some experience and also after I talked to a great trader, her name is Linda Rashke, and she said something very interesting. She said, look, you cannot base definitions of bull markets and bear markets on something arbitrary, like a number, like 20%. Okay, so just because prices drop by 20% or more, that doesn't necessarily mean you've gone into something called a bear market or a downtrend. In fact, we realized this the hard way last year in 2020. Do you guys remember? When the stock market, when the S&P dropped by 34% very quickly, that was by far the fastest crash in history and the shortest bear market in history as well. Because again, a lot of folks said at the time, last year in March of 2020, that that crash in the stock market in the S&P was without a doubt a bear market. The problem with that viewpoint is this. If you consider that to be a bear market just because it dropped by more than 20%, then the problem is that you might have actually missed out on the rally that came after it because you'd be so consumed with this mentality that we're in a bear market that you would have completely ignored and missed the signs that we're going back into an uptrend and a potential bull market and a trending up market. So again, this is why I find these definitions of bear market and bull market based on some number like 20% to be arbitrary and actually useless. And that's why I don't agree with it, I don't use it. And again, going back to Bitcoin, just look back at this chart, look back at this rally and this bull market we saw in Bitcoin from 2015 to 2017. We had several crashes, we had several corrections and drops in that bull market, which were more than 20%. Some of them were 30% drops, some of them were 40% or more drops in the price of Bitcoin. So are we supposed to think that these are all bear markets? Every single one of those drops are bear markets? It doesn't make any sense. And besides, the structure of the price on that weekly chart looks clearly like a bull market, like an uptrend not like a bear market or a downtrend. The same thing is true with Ethereum. Even Ethereum in the previous bull market suffered a 69% crash, as you can see here, in the price. And you can see here, despite that massive crash, that drop, it continued that uptrend and that bull market. And again, to me, that's a perfect example of why such a big drop like that cannot by itself be considered as a bear market or a downtrend, it doesn't make any sense because it continued the bull market and the uptrend afterwards. So you're probably thinking, okay, well, if a 20% drop in the price is not a bear market, then what is? Well, guys, as I'm sure you know, I've already made a video for you, a very detailed analytical video for you as to what is a better definition of a bear market. If you haven't seen this video, go ahead and watch it. And all I would say to you is, look, for me, a better definition of a bear market is to look for a pattern, okay? To look for the price to actually persuade us 
that's going into a bear market. And the way, the way price can persuade us that it's going into a bear market is not just some arbitrary drop of 20% or 30%, 40%, 50%. That is not very useful. What is useful is looking for a specific pattern, especially on the weekly chart. I think the weekly chart patterns are really important. But what I've learned is this. For a bear market to be confirmed, you need to have price structure, you need to have market structure being broken on several time frames. Not just the daily, not just the four hourly, but the weekly chart. We need to see price structure or market structure being broken, especially on the weekly time frame. Has that happened yet at the moment on the weekly chart of Bitcoin? I would argue no. I have not yet seen market structure being broken on the weekly chart. If you want to know what I mean by that, have a look at my previous video. That specific bearish pattern that I showed you in my video has not happened yet. And by the way, another key sign or signature of a bear market is when rallies get rejected. Usually in bear markets, any strong rallies usually result in strong declines. So often in bear markets and downtrends, rallies get rejected and we see lower lows, lower highs. That is something we've not yet seen on the weekly time frame. If you look at a bull market uptrending structure, usually after a significant drop, you then see a jump in a rally, and then that rally sees follow through higher. Okay, the opposite is true in a bear market. In a bear market, after a significant drop, any rallies from that point on get rejected, and they result in more declines. So in a bear market, you see rallies getting sold, rallies failing. So guys, keeping it simple, at the moment, I have not yet seen those two specific signs of a bear market on the price chart of Bitcoin. If we do see it, if price actually persuades us, if the price chart of Bitcoin actually proves to us that it's moving into a bear market territory by showing those specific patterns, then fine. Then we could be saying with a high probability, we're going into a bear market. But again, as I said before, I find these definitions of bear markets and bull markets based on some arbitrary number to be really useless. All right, guys, I hope this video helps. I look forward to seeing you in the next video update. Cheers.